All right, boys, we got the dub in round one. More MCS points rolling in. Love to see it. We defeated Deliverance. We defeated Trips Tight End. Our next match was against Legend. Pro Legend, and if you guys remember my YouTube, he runs that 5-2 defense. It's tough. Let's see how we do, boys. Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, what is up with these guys? Be super bummer, dude. All right. We played the 5-2 defense. One of the advantages, we did play this guy in head-to-head -head a couple days ago. So we know the 5-2 is coming. We know his different route combinations are coming. Let's go. Let's get into it. Here we go. Like I said, this was last week. Those you guys asking about the patch, we're going to continue to update it. Um, haven't, I'm not the one to jump to conclusions on the patch. We'll have more opinions as the days go on. I do have Josh Allen, a quarterback. I want to keep you guys updated on that. And you guys keep asking me, are they worth it? No. But anyway, back to this game. Nothing's worth it in Mutt. Just keep grinding with what you got. If you can afford them, try them. You don't like them, sell them. That's how I feel about Mutt. But here we go. You guys know the Sean Taylor jersey. Some of the chat gave me flack for rocking the Sean Taylor jersey. I don't care what team you are, you root for. You got to have respect for certain players, and Sean Taylor is one of them. And if you guys don't know, Sean Taylor helped me win my belt. That's why his poster is behind me right now. The beautiful canvas of Sean Taylor. That's why I have his jersey. That's why he's one of my favorite players, mostly because of Madden. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt that, you know, he was a great player in real life, too. So that's where the Sean Taylor respect comes from. All right. So, like, I've always said, man, if I watch you play or I play you, I'm going to have a good feel. I'm going to have some good ideas on what to do on defense against you. But we're going to start with the ball on offense against this 5-2. Uh, it, is, it is actually tough. As you see, blitz everybody right there. We catch him in a quick snap. Big throw to Calvin. We get a juke outside. So that's a big play early. Uh, we really didn't block it. It still got pressure. Uh, so we got to go forward. What's our plan to blocking? I started IDing the D tackle. Is this going to be it? We're starting with another quick snap here. This time the whole team comes free if you see that. I mean, we get the dot off over here to Mike Evans. But we'll watch it again. I mean, we get a DN walking in here. 76 is too worried about the user here. He's pulling out the running back blocks. Nobody, the 74, I don't know what he's doing. There's another person coming free on this side. So if you really look at it, we got one, two, three, three people not blocking anybody. He's rushing uh, six people. So if three people aren't blocking people and, you know, there's three people coming free. So we just got to get rid of the ball here. It's just cover three. We got a short zone. We got a cover three. We got his user in the middle. So we pretty much got to make a read on this underneath defender. We do, and we get a clean release on Mike Evans, and we're able to hit a dot. So two plays in a row stick. Uh, we're going to run that. We're still in the West Coast bunch here, boys. The ebook is pretty much about the same. We're going to continue to update it on a year. That link is below, madinturf.com. We're going to run stick again this time. Uh, this time, uh, this is what's going to give you trouble here. It's just literally it's the same play because he's blitzing so many people here. He only has one and two people to cover these three routes here. So... Any combination he has, whether it's a deep blue, a hard flat, a cloud flat, deep blue, or like deep blue, hard flat here, he can't cover these three people in the 5-2 unless he starts dropping off linemen or anything. And I'm going to run this play into the ground until you start dropping off linemen, then we can mix it up. But one of the problems we have here, if you guys watch, Gronkowski is going to run into the defensive end here. You know, and if we get a better release there, then Kraus would have to rush down a little bit better. Uh, we don't get too many yards there, but we do get a truck. That's pretty good. Gronk fights for three. Gives me three right there. So the same play. This time we're going to max protect. This is an... Uh, I, I don't want to say this is like a guess read, but this is you just... When you run this play, you kind of anticipate that your opponent is going to... You know, he's not going to give up the big play. Especially second down. Nobody's really coming free. We blocked everybody. He gets his shed, and he's going to pull back and try to guard this crossing route right here. So we attack the left side or wide side, wide side, wide side. We come back with this max protect play. He drops back to this guy. There's no zones over here because he's blitzing so many people. When you're blitzing so many people, you're going to have to eventually, you know, deal with this for the most part from time to time. So uh, looking good so far, boys. We're inside the 10. We're going to try a quick snap verts here, I think. Or are we going to? Yes, he plays a little bit of coverage. Good job, man. Up. The one thing you'll realize about this 5-2 is uh, he has Andrew Luck on defense. Kind of crazy, but he has Andrew Luck at linebacker. And that time he mans up Andrew Luck on <laughs> Gronkowski. Didn't think you'd see that matchup here. Andrew Luck running with Gronkowski. But here we are, running with Gronk. Uh, he actually manned up everybody. He straight man coverage. That was a good call there. We throw the ball away. 
a lot of times what I do is I think like, you know, and this is good because now I run a play where if he runs man coverage, we're going to, if so, I kind of ran a play thinking he'd run the same type of look. You know, we got flat man beater, man beater, drag man beater. So I, I, I wanted him to run straight man again like he did last play and maybe Tyree kill to the corner of the end zone. But this time he runs cover three and we're bagged. We got edge rusher here. We got edge rusher there. We got a hard flat on the flat. We can't throw the corner route. Drag is covered. You know, we're, we're, we're SOL. We're going to throw the ball away there. Third and 10. So this is a big play, man. We got to score touchdowns on our opening drives. We definitely do. So here we are already up against it here. Uh, as far as, man, third and 10 on the 16-yard line against 5-2. Now, I would assume that he might play coverage here. I'm going to put verticals out here and hoping he plays coverage. I don't think you blitz again. He does play coverage. We're able to drop back, get this, and just, I mean, this, I, I really hated this throw. I really hated this throw. I thought we really had this right here. Like, right here, I got to let the ball go. Maybe just too far to the left here. Like, I don't need you diving for this football. If you were throwing it right where the K was, I mean, this is an easy touchdown. But great play we drew up. Uh, too far of a pass lead. I You know, maybe too far of a free form. So we got to kick three on the first drive. So that's tough for sure. Uh, we did play this guy. He did run bunch tight ends. So we got a, a feel for his route combos um, playing head-to-head. -head. So it's going to be a lot of corner routes to uh, Y, which is Jerry Rice. Boom. We start off with a big hit right there from Sean Taylor. Ramsey did a good job there guarding that corner route. So we're going to play a little bit of man, and we're going to play safe here, man. I don't know if I show my play art, but this is going to be a lot of my stock bunch tight end defense here, man. Nothing's going to be thrown over here to the left. As you see, we have a quarter over here. We have a hard flat. We have both these guys getting pressed. We have a deep third over the middle. We have a man on the tight end. We got the running back if he goes out. We got any crossing routes going left to right because we have no zones over here. Uh, the main route combo that's going to hurt me is a tight end, a running back angle route, and then a crossing route for the most part. But I have so many zones and man over here that I can almost let the running back go. Catch it. He's going to be a big play, but we'll have people to tackle him. So this is a kind of kind of my base defense I want to run here. Four-man rush. Maybe I'll do a three-man rush or a five-man rush and mix it up as far as, you know, maybe I'll blitz the linebacker here and put one of these guys in man in the hard flat. But you always want the hard flat for the, so no whip routes, no out routes. And you always want a hard flat for this quick tight end drag running across. So nothing going right to left is really going to hurt me on bunch tight end here. Uh, it could be open, obviously, but I have a lot of zones, a lot of coverage over there. Trying to press these two receivers here. And, and this is kind of how we're going to go. And we're going to adjust out of this for the most part on our defense. And right there, you see I put a half over here. And, I, you know, I need Palomalo to get out there. I don't know what happened to him. I just talked about it. I mean, he's at the linebacker spot. Uh, it is a little bit far for him to get out there, but it's a hard flat, you know, and Tyreek has to go up and out. Uh, I'm assuming he just gets bumped in all this traffic here. Yeah, I mean, that's just a smorgasbord of human bodies. Palomalo can't really get out, but I'll live with that because that's that could be a pick six. We are living with that every day of the week right there. So, yeah, that's essentially my stock defense. When he flips... Now this is this is uh, this is his next formation, and we'll see. Um, every time he runs this formation, it's pretty much four verts, or it's a running back angle Jerry Rice post. Every single time, it's it's kind of not complicated, and we'll see that as the game goes on here. And this is just four verts. He goes up top. I should have picked that off. I really should have. I was just so scared, and we we swat. So I you see I was disappointed, man. I definitely should have went for a pick there. I gotta I gotta get better as the year goes on and judging when I can go for a pick and just get that over the over the you know the head interception rather than a swat right there. So here we go. This is gonna be kind of much kind of his go to play here all game, you know. It's 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 really good. I mean, I don't know I, I don't know what else to tell you. It it actually is really good because we cross man the running back with 89 overall Isaiah Simmons with his 90 man coverage or whatever he's got. And I mean, you just can't guard a running back angle route. Running back angle route is literally the best route in the game. It really is. But we get a good shed and I, I took away the first, the shorter route and he actually makes a good read throws over top to this route. So we got to try to adjust to that play because bunch tight end. I feel good up against it here. want to drop a little bit more coverage out. And once he does that, I got to reman him up because I obviously had that guy in a 
Could be a SWAT. Oh, it could have been a pick. Did we drop a pick right there? Did we drop a pick? Ramsey on Jerry Rice. I actually put him in a deep blue there. That was good. Could have been a pick. It could have been a pick. But, you know, we'll take it. That was actually red. That play was really good because he motioned left to right. I had to reman up the guy in motion, and I re deep blue the guy in the slot to get that same look that I had. Here we just go a little cover two man here. This guy gets whooped to the inside. He puts that running back on a wheel route. I had to bail to the running back wheel. Gets an easy drag, but he gets an incompletion. Knocked out right there. Third and 10. So that's lucky for sure. We drop a pick on the last play, and that play we actually knocked the ball out on a drag. So things are looking up for the boys. He's going to go back to this wheel route again to the running back. I don't know if I put a man on him. I did. Good play hitting this. He's been blocking his tight end. That time he snuck him out on a quick little flat out route. Gets a big play. Fourth and one here. I'm actually going to put Vita Vea in the game here. Fourth and one. Maybe help stop the run if he tries to run here. And the audible's down. So uh, we'll see if he runs. Let's see. I honestly don't remember. Oh, the audible's back up. Being a nuisance, being annoying. Oh, back to his main play. This is his main go-to play. And he calls timeout. I had a great defense that I liked right there, but calls timeout. Uh, yeah, I want to guard the running back with the safety, Charles Woodson. We got man coverage. I like this right here. We're going to guard the running back, and I'm on Vita Vea. So putting in Vita Vea hurt me. I love this play, and we'll, we'll you know, if I'm on my user here, this play is dead. We got man coverage. We got a vert hook and Palomalo. We got decent sheds, but I'm on Vita Vea instead of Sean Taylor. And, of course, Charles Woodson somehow cannot guard the running back. You know, it's not like he's a Heisman winner, corner, Hall of Famer. But, you know, can't guard a tight end angle. So, this has been my red zone defense. I talked about it last game uh, inside the 10. Now, we're getting close to, like, a little bit too close for this. Or a little bit. We're, like, right on the fringe. I really like it, man. It's just cover four. We're going to shade down, and we're going to put our safeties and hooks, and they'll play around the goal line, and they'll play really well in here. I got to worry about deep middle, back of the end zone for the most part. You know. And I baseline on this, so he's going to audible down here. Let's see. Goes for a dive. We actually get good sheds right there from our boy LT. Gets a tackle. That's good, man. So now we got second and eight. We're getting cl the closer we get to the goal line, the better this type of defense is, really. Underneath, he gets a bad throw right there. Third and eight on the goal line. We're going to man up the running back this time. Cross man with Palomalo, so that doesn't happen again. You see, we got Palomalo on the running back. He's going to get over here, clog this up. We got a hard flat. We got yellows. What could hurt me, obviously, trips tight end is Tyreek Hill right up the seam here. But this is just good defense. He's going to go ahead and run with Andrew Luck. We're going to click off. He's going to slide. Does he go for this? He does not. I gladly accept that to kick a three. So we get a little stalemate. Back-to-back -back threes. And here we are back facing the 5-2. My running back just absolutely took a poop on this play. Like my running back, I like, we're good right here. We're absolutely good. We are so good. We are so good. Head, 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 head. Cover three. We're going to have the corner out wide, but open. But, I mean, my running back just is just worried about the user. The game is programmed to not let your user blitz. So when you run around the line, like my running back just... If my running back touches that guy, we get a big play, but he just doesn't. Next play, blitzes everybody again, and we get hit again. Like, we're just, like, under siege right now. Boom. This guy in there. Andrew Luck in there rushing. He's going to go guard the tight end. Everybody manned up well. Third and 20, boys. We're going to hit this drag underneath. We get a big fourth and eight here. Big fourth and eight. We're right to the line with it. I would could run stick again, honestly. I just need a block. If I can block these guys, we're going to be fine. And that's a steamer. That's a steamer. As he goes straight man coverage. Beautiful blocking. Block, 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 block. 
we're going to get the running back angle the drag and then the crosser right here I don't know what he was doing I mean we almost got blocked because the guy on the running back this play is kind of a little funky with the the mesh concept in the middle but I like this play especially against man and we throw that to Mike Evans and he get, he comes up with a big catch for us that was a big catch in the game it really was we went from third and 20 to fourth and eight and we catch that catch with Mike Evans here we're going for a big play and we actually put Gronk our tight end out wide so we can block and have some hot routes here we're bagged again third and ten man coverage here I got nothing we're going for the post up top this I mean we got everybody blocked I mean do we have this right here over Kraus I mean we might have had a spot but I'm just way too far back in the pocket here way too far back in the pocket so we get a fourth and ten here dude we're, we're like really not playing well right now uh, we're taking a chance that he doesn't play straight man and he, he I mean he didn't it was the right play here he plays cover three and we got verticals on we just this is out absolutely ridiculous like you can't have this DN just running in here you know we're gonna have RB we're gonna have Y we're gonna have a just can't throw the ball we go to a and just we can't get rid of the ball there so third and three we don't have gunslinger man which I mean I've, I've used gunslinger since the AP update so uh, it might have made a difference right there but you know when the defensive end is running free you're not going to have successful offense I've always said that when somebody's rushing free at the quarterback you'll never have successful offense as he gets a gets a big stretch right there he's in clear field goal range he gets the ball at half we're in a tough spot here boys coverage again we're going straight coverage here Vita Vey is still in the game he motions this guy I'm able to man or I'm able to keep him in the flat that see that's where we talked about earlier about how I was able to re blue people and stuff once he motions this guy I'm in shambles I have no deep blue over here I'm worried about Jerry Rice on a corner route we have a three-man rush I have to guard Jerry Rice corner route but you know because he's gonna beat him I can't stay over here he dumps the ball off to Bo Jackson or Walter Payton and gets an easy touchdown so just good motion there messing up my defense so we turn the ball over we give up seven we don't get the ball at half the tournament's not looking good right now boys we got to figure out a consistent blocking way for this defense or how to block this consistently and right now we really don't have it honestly we really don't we're trying to ID the D tackle that hasn't really worked for me I just can't get the defensive ends to come in free right now we have great blocking right there we're able to dump the ball off to Andrew Luck or uh, Tyree Kill. As you guys see, Andrew Luck cannot run with Tyree Kill. So we're able to catch a drag right there. Juke back to the middle. Big play. Good blocking, man. It really comes down to can I block this six man rush with six people? That's what I want to do. Block this six man with six people. Makes sense, right? I should be able to do it, but that's kind of what uh, the game is going to come down to because we have people open all over the place. Once again, this is actually a seven man blitz. We're able to dump it off pretty good. We got Mike Meyer in the game because I'm going to use Gronk. Right now, I'm going to change that. You know, I'm like, we're just going to change it. We're going to put Gronk back at tight end. Because Gronk has slot apprentice. Because in West Coast Bunch, the tight end is a slot receiver. So you have to use slot apprentice. So that time, if I'm getting blitzed and I want to block my tight end, I go ahead and put Gronk at wide receiver somewhere. But once again, Gronk open in a flat, runs through a tackle, picks me up a good 10-plus yards. That's what you want to see, man. You want to see flat routes getting some yards. I call a timeout there. We have two timeouts. We have plenty of time here. If I can get a touchdown, tie the game up at half, that would be huge because we definitely are, are down a little bit here in the first half. So he started running a little bit of cover two. We're going for a cover two beater, but we're able to dump the ball off the bow. <sighs> Probably could have went out of bounds there, really, but we have some time. We're definitely close enough, and... Once again, we're going to ID the D tackle. We're going to go verts here. We're looking for a cover three. We do get a cover three look, but we just cannot block, dude. We, I don't know what happened on this one. So blocking the running back, IDing the D tackle just simply is just not it. Look at my, if my running back, I got to start IDing this guy. So the running back blocks him. If the running back blocks that guy, we have the tight end for a big play. Third and three here, 20 seconds left. Yep. See the next play, I ID the guy on the, on the left. Let's see if we get a little bit better blocking here. No.
Nope, my running back just went to the middle. Of the I think it might have reset. Good truck. We gotta get off balance here. Damn. All right, 13 seconds. A lot of times with like players like this, man, and this is a little tip right here. Like, you gotta see what their, what is their first adjustment when they come out the huddle. When he wants to blitz, he wants to spread his line out wide and really blitz right away. So if he takes a long time to do that. In my mind, that means he's doing coverage adjustments before that. That means he's going to drop into coverage. Like, if you see a player that's blitzing and they get right down to the line right away, they set up their blitz first, then they're probably going to blitz. If you notice them lacking a little bit on setting up their blitz, they're probably setting up coverage. And that's what I noticed out of the huddle in this play. Um, let me go take a look. As I flip, he hasn't spread his line yet. So if you, if you see this now, I could be wrong. But this is just something to keep in your mind when you're playing blitzers and stuff like that. We get out of the huddle here. He has not spread his line yet. We flip. He has plenty of time to spread his line. He has not spread it left. He's not even on a linebacker yet. He's not even moved his user. He finally spreads his line. So to me, that tells me that you're playing coverage. Just a guess. And there it is. Coverage. Only rushes three. That's tough. I don't know. We just spiked the ball right there. So that's something to pay attention to when you're playing blitzers, when you're playing uh, guys that run the same defense every play. You get to see what they do before the snap. And this play, once again, he still hasn't spread his line yet. I think we're going to do double flips here. We do. We're just going to run verts. He now spreads his line. This is one of my favorite plays right here. It's just verts with a, with a, a smart routed in route. And then an angle route. So we're going to have the tight end on the wheel. Just like, you know, a tight end on the wheel is unguardable. And then we're going to have just a, a, a crossing concept in the middle. You know, we're going to have this angle route. We're going to have the right, the whatchamacallit. And we're able to, you know, he plays covers there. He forces a field wall. So it's 10 to 6 at half. We're kicking the ball off. Tough spot, but we can play some defense. He only has 10 points. Once again, he gets into this wide trips look. We know what this is going to be every time. Every single time he goes to this, we know what it's going to be. And, of course, there it is, running back angle route. Literally, I mean, it's really tough to guard the running back angle route here, but we're going to eventually find something for it here. <clears throat> this time he goes four verts on running back angle, and we're able to get a hit and get the ball out, and we recover it. That's huge. That's huge. Just this time he doesn't, he goes four verticals. Now I have thirds on the outside when he does this. So we'll never get beat on the thirds here. You know, instead of putting that post route, he goes four verts. We got a yellow zone here. And what we're able to do is click in the right stick right now. So Dion goes and chases him. And that's how we're able to hit him, get the ball out just like that. Boom. So that was a great adjustment there. Kind of to the angle route. But like I said, if he would have put... His post route, like he normally did, things would be looking better. This time, like I said, we ran this play earlier in the game, right? This time, he guarded the drag a little bit too much. Like, all right, dude. Right there is when I realized, like, okay, you're on the drag a little bit too much. You're not getting back to X here. We hit him right in the chest. Mike Evans, big play. We're in field goal range now. We need a touchdown, though. We need a touchdown. All right, we're back to ID and the D tackle because now I'm blocking my tight end. So we should be able to get some type of... All right, he plays coverage there. Oh, man. Let's go, Bo. And he catches that. I should have known he was playing coverage when he was using Andrew Luck. I should have known that. But here he goes with a double Mabel right here. I try to throw this in this spot right here. If I want to do that, I have to let go of the ball way sooner than this. And right here, we just hold Y to catch the ball just so it's not a pick. He goes for a swat. When I let go of the ball, it's like, oh, damn, it's a cloud flat. It's a cloud zone over there. It's not a deep blue. Like right here. Oh, it's a cloud zone. And now I just hold Y, jump for the ball, and then he catches the ball on the tip. So, yeah, that's, and you know, sometimes, listen, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. I mean, just, just unreal. Just unreal. This time, I try to go verts with a drag route to give me a faster option to pass the ball. But you know that when the DN's screaming in like that, like it's just, it's tough. You know, you never want the defensive end screaming in you. I wish I maybe in hindsight, maybe start ID in that guy. So like, that's the guy that gets the immediate pressure to where you can't pass the ball. 
I mean, it's a pretty simple play here, boys. Corner route drag streak. Nothing's open, though. Oh, for some reason, he decided to stop <clears throat> guarding the drag here. Three-man rush here. These are five-yard purples. 30-yard clouds, a yellow zone, a yellow zone. You know, these are five-yard purples. You know, and then right here, we just truck with uh, our boy Calvin to get the first down. First and goal here with Bo. We run, we get nothing. Run again, Bijan Robinson. I This, like, I cannot believe. Now, Bijan is my run. I, see, I don't really care who what running back this is. Obviously, if I juke, I probably score here. But, like, dude, this is why I have, have Gronkowski. Like, you got to hold this block. I'm not hitting turbo. It's just, oh, you hit turbo, they disengage. No. This is a, I, like, I thought this was the freest touchdown I ever had right here. In a perfect world, I was just juke back left. But I thought he would seal better than he did right here. You know, I really did. You know, and Bijan gets blown up. We have Bijan for theme team, uh, rookie premiere. He's like 85 speed. And he's just my backup running back. And here we go. This is a play Skimbo showed me was good. Especially against uh, man coverage. This is base on non base aligned. Everybody's matched up. I'm in goal line personnel. So I have three tight ends, two running backs. That's why I have Bijan Robinson. So my two running backs. So if they come out in dollar or anything, I can audible to goal line. I'm going to run this end around play. The underrated king used this in the tournament this year, in the opening tournament, and we're able to catch a touchdown on that. That's just a big play. Third and goal in the three. We get this runoff, and Andrew Luck, being his middle linebacker, might have cost him right there. We get the ball off to Bo Jackson. Touchdown. So, big play. Now we're up by three. Let's get a stop. Uh, we were down 10-3. to three. We were down 10-6, to six and he had the ball. So, we're playing decent. We got back in the game. Some big plays in the passing game. Some big plays on defense. You know, but like I said, it's the same, my same, kind of the same philosophy every time on defense here. Great job, everybody in zone. Decent pressure, too. Just flipping bunch tight end. It's really the running back angle route that I wish I had, like, a stop for on the running back angle route. I wish there was something I could do, but you kind of almost got to use it. It's that point. He almost has a bomb here, but we. this is just great defense here. But just too much time, you know. Three-man rush, Vita Vea is not getting it done. Vita Vea is on the ground right now. Uh, and right here, I send this spy or this yellow this zone over here, but I don't want him to go to Calvin. So I click on. I really should have just let this guy rush, honestly. <clears throat> and stayed where I was. So, broken play, but I didn't want, you know, just you, on, on defense, you have a clock in your head. And on offense, you're clocking your head, and my clock expired right there. I thought, you know, I'd have to get some pressure somewhere. This was a great defensive play. He audibles to this. Every time he audibles to this, I go deep third, deep third, deep. I pretty much play cover three. And, and you know, I'm going to guard the running back pretty much. So here, what he does is, and we get a press out here. So he thinks this guy is manned up on Tyree Kill. So he thinks Bo Jackson is a free touchdown. You know, so he just lost this up, but ha ha ha, jokes on you. Joey Porter Jr. is in a deep third. Comes down with the big pick. Pick artist, we're not gonna lose, we're not gonna drop that pick. Joey Porter gets the pick, turns the ball. So we weren't listen, cooking right now. Now we gotta score a touchdown and win the game and move on to the next round. We just have to. We're gonna max protect here. We're going corner route, we're going streak, we're going drag. We get the blocking for the most part, but it breaks down. Andrew Luck. Okay, this is where I, you know, I just got to like, when Andrew Luck starts shedding people, you know, Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson, like Bo Jackson, we simply got to do better here. We simply do. There's just no way. Now, this play was kind of bagged because, you know, he runs cover three here, but Bo Jackson, that is a quarterback that just whooped your ass. Tough, tough, tough day at the office here. But we'll give the ball back to Bo Jackson. And this time he's tackled by Kraus. But we got to do better. Third and nine here. Nice job. 
I mean, another DN comes free, but we get the first down. We're going to go to the fourth quarter here. Try to pop a run. Once again, that boy Andrew Luck is just a menace. A menace. And then we get sacked. Third and 25. Let's see this here. Second and... Yeah, Bruce Smith right in the backfield. So this is tough. Now I actually ID'd that guy. Like, please don't... And then the guy I did is the one like the game is not the game without the game. So the guy I did is actually the one that look, can we block here boys? Now, obviously I'm only blocking five people, but I, what I want to happen is you to block this defensive end and then I can make a read, you know, I can throw to somebody, but they don't. So fourth and 37, you didn't think you'd see this here, but we're punting the football. You know, you could go for this, but I feel like you just make it entirely too easy for him to score. Uh, so we're up by three. We're going to play some defense. Like I said, I don't think this guy is the most overpowered player of all time. So we're going to play some defense. So, yeah, I think we put Bruce Smith back in the game here. We do. All right. Back to his money play here. Let me see if I show you. All right. You guys see it here. Third. I probably put this guy in a third at some point here. We're going to have a hook curl on Dion here just for this pulse route. This guy right here is on the tight end. If he blocks the tight end, this guy will go into a deep third over the middle of the field, I think. But I know I have the running back here. I got running back. This is how I want to play this set from now on, but he runs the ball here. But that's kind of how I want to play that look again when he goes to it. He's back to it. Let's see if I'm able to get off the adjustments here to do the same thing. This time, I do the opposite. Man running back, third, third. Manned up here. Hook curl for the running back angle route. Now, we know running backs will run by all these guys, but sometimes they actually stop, hit those yellow zones, and, and run into those guys. So this is what I've gone to. We're going to rush five. Hopefully get a little bit of pressure here. The same combo we've been looking at all day, and we get the sack. Covered here, covered here, third, third. There it is. We get a huge sack. Worked perfectly. Absolutely worked perfectly. Now, if he had more time, would have that angle route eventually got there and ran by that guy? I don't know. But he's not able to throw the ball. Huge sack. Fourth and 19. Now this is where we go ahead and we're going to put our zone drops maybe on 30 here. Let's see what we do here. Bunch tight end. No matter what I do, I'm going to try to loop right here. That's pretty smart. Get some pressure. We set our pressure up first. Third, third. Maybe we'll put a cloud out here somewhere. He goes play action, and we get super pressure right there. There it is, man. Huge play on defense. <clears throat> We're actually supposed to actually crash our line down on this defense before the patch, but we didn't. And maybe that's what helped us get these ridiculous blitzing angles here. Huge play. We get to say, we get the ball. A first down ends the game here with the 26 yard line. We're going to run the ball first play, get to the two minute warning, run the balls. Am I actually in stretch? Yeah, a little stretch action. If you don't base a line, I think stretch is free here. As long as I get a little block on where we do, we get a double team up to that guy. Catch a juke first down. That's pretty much when I end the game right there. We're gonna try to take, if he doesn't call timeout, we gotta take this all the way to one or zero on the play clock. Let's see what I do here. I should, or I'm just an old bald man. Take this all the way to zero, half a click. Good job. That's okay if we run through that. He's gonna use a timeout. Now we can do whatever we want here. We're going back to that end the round play, end the round formation. Bijan gets a carry, nothing. Third and 10 right here. I'm going to look for a pass, but I, obviously I'm not going to pass the ball here, I don't think. Unless it's wide open. We'll see what we go to. Uh, he's probably going to play coverage. We want to take some time off here. I'm on conservative. I should not fumble the ball. He actually blitzes everybody, and I just fall down. I say, okay, you got it. That was my read. If you blitz everybody, not going to take a chance with the ball. We're just going to fall down. This is a tough spot. It is, I, honestly, but it's a tougher spot for him. He's down by six, so... We're going to milk this as far as we can. We're going to call a timeout. We're going to kick a field goal. We're going to go by six points. Uh, 40 seconds left. <sighs> Man, it's... 
I would tell you six points is the toughest lead in Madden. I've lost some tournament games, especially last year with the six points. And right there, we almost we almost give up the touchdown on the kickoff. That would have been brutal. Brutal. But, all right, this time we're just going to try to loop him because, you know, I don't have to worry about the run or anything like that. He goes four verticals out of the gate. That's a terrible call. Waste of play. So, 33 seconds. 31 yard line so he's got 50 he's got seven what 69 yards to go here to tie the game with no timeouts a lot of deep blues a lot of pressure a lot of loops that's what i hope we're getting here beautiful absolutely beautiful we get intentional grounding nicely done i don't know who what happened here he, he goes running back wheel route this is a good play now we have a lot of coverage over here which is good we have some coverage over here you know, and I'll get these guys. And we get Isaiah Simmons coming free. Throws the ball away. Intentional grounding. I think. Oh, no. I went backwards. My fault. Third and 25 here. Three deep blues. Cover three. We're manned up on the two slots. Got to worry about corner route here. Once he motions out. Okay. Now he flips. This formation sucks for me. Except for running back angle route. And post to Jerry Rice. So there we go. We got our hook curl for the angle route. Uh, if Ramsey gets beat by Jerry Rice, shaded inside and down, I mean, God bless him, right? Oh, this time he just blocks everybody. I don't know what he was thinking. And he actually throws a, a like just a freeform streak right here. It worked well, dude. It really did. Nice. I mean, one of the problems here is that once you turn on your zone drops, you're not really going to press out there and... That's a big play. I'm kind of, now I'm kind of a little nervous. Can't lie, he did that. I'm like, all right. You're not going to keep doing that <laughs> up and down the field. Once again, we get tons of blocking here. And our boy Cromartie straps Jerry Rice. Man coverage, man. It's inconsistent. But this time it works for our, works good for us. As we get a beautiful press over here on Cromartie and Jalen Ramsey. And he actually takes away the corner route as best he can. He might have been able to throw that, but under too much presser and uh jalen did his thing right there so like i said we got a lot of deep blues here i don't even have any zones uh that's fine if you do that i might put a zone out here on on isaiah simmons no i don't care you know he's probably just running a streak as he is and we get a big loop right there almost a pick on a sack 15 seconds left just staying in this defense for the most part because i mean what like what is he going to do here to beat this defense he should try some quicker little out routes to the left, but once again, we have tons of coverage over there. We got man coverage, man press on his two slots. He didn't like that at all. And right there, we end the game. Boom. GG's. He tries to go with the deep post, deep streak combo. You guys know Bunch tight end in the past. But, I mean, it was just never going to be open. We got a half, we got a third, we got a third, and we get this big pick. Boom. Charles Woodson. He couldn't guard the running back, but he did end the game for us. So there it is, boys. Next round, we move on. Face the 5-2. Face Andrew Luck on defense. If you guys are liking this video, more MCS points for us. If you're liking it, let me know you like these breakdowns. Let me know you learned anything from these videos, man. Please hit that like button. The YouTube farming has been serious.